Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we're going to be making some Christmas themed table decorations, so check out the video. Right then, so I've got five of these beautiful plasters of wood um, and they need a lot of attention because they've been cut with a chainsaw and as you can imagine, uh, well, they're not in the best of shapes. So to get these sorted into a usable state, I'm going to be using a jig for my MFT style table with a router sled. So if you haven't seen that video and you are interested in how it works, how to build it, then check out my um, other video. I'll link it up above and down below as always. But let's sort out this bad boy out. Okay then, so all of them are now sorted, as you can see the jig works perfectly but uh, on some of them obviously the bark were coming off uh, to begin with and I would love to keep the bark on but unfortunately if some of them will have it and other ones won't it's a set so they need to look the same so I just started to take off the bark and that's what I'm going to continue doing and after that it will be a few hours of sanding. Right then, so um, the biscuits are now beautifully sanded right up to 120. At this stage, we don't really need to go any further. The next step is to have some stencils. I've got um, a few of those different types. They are all available on my website for free, so you can go and check it out. The link to my website is down below. Um, I'm going to trace these with a piece of carbon paper onto the piece of wood and then I'm going to be using my router to route them out so then we can use some cool epoxy colors and effects um, to actually do a casting of them so uh, let's crack on with it Okay, so we've got our plate coasters ready for some resin. And what resin am I using? Resin Pro. As you can see, I've got a big set of it here. And a bit of a bonus for you guys. I've actually partnered with Resin Pro. And if you are interested in getting into resin or buying some resin, trying it out, there's a link in the description of this video with the address to the website. And on top of it, using my code CASUALDIY, you'll get 10% off. So it's a bit of a no-brainer. Check it out because it's definitely worth experimenting with this resin.
Okay then, so 12 hours later and the resin is set. And guess what's going to happen now? <laughs> yes, even more sanding. Probably another six hours of my life will be to get this sorted. Obviously for you just a few seconds, you lucky buggers you. But uh, yeah, I'll carry on doing that now. Okay, so a bit of a mishap. When I started sanding, um, all the cookies actually cracked. Um, I'm not sure why, it's very bizarre. Uh, more or less they cracked in the same way. Uh, let's pick the worst one out. Let's do this one for example. So as you can see, the cracks, obviously to be fair, I cut out the middle of it just to make it a little bit wider because I want to make actually a feature out of it. But um, all of the cookies actually cracked right into the middle. Very bizarre because, um, you know, they were drying with uh, resin and they didn't crack but when I started sanding them they all suddenly started to crack which is uh, very strange but I'm not calling it a done project yet so as you can see I've taped it all around on the bottom as well but what I'm actually trying to do I'm going to be adding white silverish color in the cracks as the reverse side will actually be um, covered with chalk paint in more or less white grey type of a colour so should combine um, quite nice and it will be additional feature so guys sometimes where things don't go right to plan think around it and <laughs> maybe it will actually add additional cool feature to it so I'm just going to be pouring the resin now Right then, so they actually came out really, really nice in the end. Even with uh, with that, it uh, it marries up quite nice, uh, and I'm fairly happy with how they came out. Now on the reverse, and obviously at the front, uh, we're gonna have uh, some um, snowflakes. So the next thing to do, um, I actually printed the stencil on a. Um, it's a. It's like a st sticker paper some sort so I can peel it off and basically stick it onto the piece of wood and I'm just going to be using a sharp knife to cut out the stencils out. Okay guys, so uh, unfortunately my camera died with the battery, um, so this is where I managed to get at the minute. Um, obviously at the back, so I've made a couple of options, one like this where I've put the stencil on and obviously colored the whole thing. And the second option where you just got the uh, stencils colored like so. In the same manner, I've actually done some names at the side where you've got the epoxy resin um, snowflake. As you can see, it's uh, actually quite shiny because I already put one layer of uh, a gloss spray lacquer and I'm just going to put a few more. I think in total of three coats on each side will do the job with denibbing between the coats. And here we are, three coats of um, spray lacquer. Later, we've got a really fantastic uh, finish. Now, I've used this hard wearing spray that uh, hopefully will stand the temperatures from the plate when you're gonna put your hot plate on these. 
um, and yes if you didn't know these are not your coffee coasters but they are actually plate coasters for your Christmas uh, table um, I think they actually came out really nice um, something a bit different I've never done anything like this before and um, yeah I think they're <laughs> quite cool and it will add some unique feature to your Christmas table um, I just want to point out that um, I've made some resin um, tutorials there are nine episodes in total so check out this playlist over here have a look maybe if you're thinking of starting some projects with uh, resin but for today that's all thank you very much for watching thank you for your time and i hope to see you on my next woodworking adventure till then take care